Aloha! If we haven't met before, my name is Spaceman Steve, and today I'll be showing you how we can visualize our solar system with a golf ball. Folks, space is big. And I'm not talking just a little bit big, I'm talking very, very big. Do you recognize this place? It's our solar system. There's the sun in the middle and the planets orbiting happily around it. But there are always problems with diagrams like these. You see, space is so big, it's very hard to draw everything to scale. So either the planet sizes aren't right in comparison to one another, or the distances between the planets are all completely wrong. I mean, the Earth can fit inside the Sun more than 1,300,000 times. So, something is not right. And don't even get me started on this one. What we need to do is take these massive cosmic scales and somehow squish them down into terms that humans can understand. And we can do this using a simple golf ball. Okay, so first things first. Let's list the eight planets in order of their distance from the Sun. We have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Now, while Pluto was a planet for a very long time, it's not anymore. But if you're like me, you're still very fond of it. So if you want a great way to remember the order of the planets, you can simply memorize this phrase. My very educated mother just said, uh-oh, no Pluto. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter of the planet, and it's a reminder that Pluto used to be among them. Now the Sun is the biggest thing that we have in the solar system, so to understand the sizes and scales of everything, let's take that Sun and squish it down to the size of a golf ball. So we're going to take everything in the solar system and shrink it down to this tiny scale where more than a million Earths could fit inside this ball. So first, let's look at the sizes of the planets. If the Sun were a golf ball, then the diameter of Mercury would be about the same as the thickness of a piece of paper. Venus and the Earth are about the same size, and they could be represented on this scale by a grain of sand. Mars has the same width as the smallest available mechanical pencil lead. Jupiter and Saturn could both be represented by the length of a grain of rice, though Jupiter is a bit bigger than Saturn. And finally, Uranus and Neptune can be represented by the thickness of a penny. So there's a huge variation in sizes, and Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. It is much, much bigger than the Earth. But what about the distances between these planets on our golf ball scale? To really get a sense of those, well, follow me. So the first thing that you're going to need is a wide open space, like a park or your backyard or a beach. Now a golf ball is going to represent the sun for our scale. However, to make it a little bit easier to see on the camera, we're going to be using a balloon to mark its position. I've gone ahead and tied a pencil to the balloon so I can stick it in the ground and it doesn't blow around. This is going to be the position of our sun. We can also use other balloons to mark the planets. So to measure the distance, I'll be using big steps. I know that a big step for me is about a meter. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. And on our scale, it's about two big steps away. One, two. Mercury would be right about here. The next planet is Venus. And Venus is another big step away from Mercury. There's Venus. I need more balloons. The next planet is my favorite. It's Earth, and it's another step and a half away. One, and a half. Here's where the Earth is in relationship to our golf ball sun. Now, Mars is the next planet out, and it's another two steps away from the Earth. One, two. These are all of the inner planets, 
before we get to the asteroid belt. This is Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Next is Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system. And this is where it gets a little wild, because Jupiter is another 17 steps away from where Mars is. All right, one, two, seven, eight, nine, 15, 16, and 17. Jupiter is all the way out here. There's a huge gap between Mars and Jupiter. I need more balloons. Bam! Okay, so the next planet out is Saturn, the planet that the universe liked so much, it put a ring on it. So what we're gonna do is from Jupiter, we're going to walk another 20 steps to get to Saturn. One, two, three, 12, 13, 14, 19, 20. All the way out here is where Saturn would be if the sun was a golf ball. I can barely see it. Okay, it seems like the planets are getting a little bit further apart now, so I have another balloon, but I've got a bit of a bad feeling about this. <laughs> From Saturn to get out to Uranus, we have another 47 big steps. Okay, for science. One, two, three, 17, 18, 19, 29, 30, 31, 32, 38, 39, 40. Uh, uh oh, uh, 41? Um, I'm a little bit lost here. Uh, it looks like I don't have a big enough field. Uh, Uranus is back there somewhere. Uh, oh no. Well, I guess I'll uh, just kind of run back. Whew. Okay, so to get to Uranus, we would need an entire football field. That is 300 feet away from the golf ball. Neptune would need a football field and a half. That's 450 feet away from the golf ball. And just because it's fun, Pluto is two football fields away from the golf ball, and it's half the size of Mercury. Okay, so the solar system is huge, and the planets are like these little specks floating in this great abyss. But let me go just a little bit further. If our sun was a golf ball, how far do you think that we'd have to walk away from it to get to our nearest star, Proxima Centauri? Take a guess. Well, to get to our nearest neighbor, you wouldn't have to walk three or four football fields. Oh no, you would have to go 1,232 kilometers. That's 766 miles on our tiny scale of our golf ball sun. That means that if you're setting up a model of the solar system and you live in Hawaii like me, to represent where the nearest star is, you will have to swim about a third of the way to California. If you're in Los Angeles, I hope you have a car because you'll have to drive all the way to Portland, Oregon. And if you're in Europe, this is the distance between London, England and Vienna, Austria. And that's just to the nearest star. We live in a galaxy called the Milky Way that has hundreds of billions of other stars. In a universe with hundreds of billions of other galaxies. Yeah, space is big. Well, mahalo nui. Thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Spaceman Steve. Oh, man, space is big. I need a bigger field.